overall in the region. Our early surveys in the first year after detecting Candida auris, we found about 2% of the screenings that we did were positive for colonization. Um, over the years since then, in the last two years, we've seen a dramatic increase. So that's gone, that was up to 11% in the second half of um, 2017, early 2018, and then up to 14% from February to May, and then as high as 18% from um, June to September. How can the spread of Candida auris be reduced? It's a um, challenging issue because we're learning that this is an organism that can persist both on patient skin and in the environment for very long periods of time. We don't have great ways to decolonize patients that we've learned of. We also um, have found that cleaning the environment adequately to get rid of Candida auris is difficult. It requires agents, cleaning agents with a sporicidal claim similar to C. difficile. So it won't, um, so some of the standard cleaning agents that um, most facilities are accustomed to using won't necessarily get rid of Candida auris. In settings that we're working with where we're seeing high prevalence, we're asking them to switch to completely um, agents that have a sporicidal claim to clean the entire floor. I think that physicians need to be aware uh, that C. auris is a growing problem. There's a need to um, understand some of the testing issues around C. auris, so it is not easily detectable by standard testing methodologies, and it may require MALDI-TOF or molecular sequencing to accurately identify. There are some look-alike bugs, um, can Candida hemoloniae and others, that if you're seeing a patient with that organism, you may want to make sure your laboratory is doing the appropriate testing to, to verify that it's not Candida auris. Within regions where um, there is high prevalence, clinicians may want to consider what settings their patients are coming from. Patients who are admitted to an acute care hospital from a ventilated skilled nursing facility may be patients who need to be placed on contact isolation and who may need to have special cleaning um, procedures implemented while they're in the hospital.